All right, hi everybody. Uh, day two of the V-Strom repair extravaganza. Uh, we're in the garage and we're gonna be uh, tearing into the beast, uh, trying to get it fixed again. And we're gonna be doing a James Bond movie marathon of all the James Bond movies that we've never watched while we're working on the V-Strom. So. I predict movie two will be done. Okay, yes, hopefully we don't need all of the movies to get through the repair build. So, so anyways, stick around. Uh, let's get started on this. In the last video, we had just uh, measured the valves and realized we didn't have shims, ordered a kit, uh, it finally arrived. So now Frank is desperately trying to teach me how to measure, um, pick the right shims, and do the math to make sure that those gaps are proper. And it's a little tricky because sometimes you want to do it the opposite way, you, you know, the math part. And uh, so not the easiest thing. I can see where it would be easy to get it completely wrong. But uh, luckily Frank is really good at doing repairs like this. Another new thing I learned how to do was use a torque wrench. Uh, more math. Yay. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I didn't realize I'd never used it before in the garage. So at least I, I know how that works now. Unfortunately, we didn't quite get the exhaust valves done right the first time. So we had to recheck our math and our shim size and we got to do those ones over again. So yay, we had to take it apart again. Okay, we're at the end of day two. We got through one Bond movie. And so we finished adjusting the valves on the front cylinder. And we started adjusting the valves on the rear cylinder. But anyways, we are giving up for the night. We've measured, we're gonna t finish taking it apart tomorrow. I'm tired. Day three discovery. Apparently, we got a free gift with our <laughs> cheap bike purchase. There's 
something inside the gas tank. So Frank just was uh, working on the gas tank and turned it and yay. Hey. So for those of you at home uh, watching, that shouldn't sound like that. Sure. <laughs>
made a ton of progress on the V-Strom. We've uh, still got that mystery to solve. We're going to be doing some research to find out if we can figure out what that metal part was that was in the gas tank. So um, stay tuned for part three of the uh, V-Strom project video series. Uh, as of right now though, we've got a lot of the parts put back together. Uh, it's running. Uh, there's no smoke or flames shooting out anywhere, so that's always a good sign. So anyways, thanks for watching. Uh, again, stay tuned for my next video. Click the subscribe button, and I hope to see you soon out on a ride on my new bike. All right, take care.